What's good everybody, it's your boy The610 Phenom and today I want to talk about three moments that completely changed my life, okay? Because I feel like all of us, as we are going through life, there are certain things that are going to happen to you that could either break you or completely change the trajectory of everything. And so I want to share with y'all three moments that I experienced that completely change where my life is heading to and how I operate today. So the first moment I'm gonna share, and I know a lot of people struggle with this one, because when I tell this story to people in person, they're always like, yo, I'm right there at that point. I know I need to make that decision, but it's super tough. And it was officially cutting off my friend that I knew for like 10 years, okay? Now y'all don't need to know the whole story on how we got to that point, but I will tell you all what I learned. So when you initially meet people, you are an embodiment of your experiences at that point in time. And however, individuals meet you this is how they perceive you okay and at that particular point in time i was the turn up king you feel me i got lit three four days a week and that is what honestly we connected on right but as i started progressing into year seven year eight of the relationship i started to change i recognized that my current habits weren't going to build up a life for me that i wanted in my future and we would even have conversations about that and i felt like we was on the same page of growth but deep down we weren't and so there would be moments in time as i'm transitioning and starting to evolve as a person he'd be like yo let's go turn up let's go this party i'm like yo i'm good tonight i actually want to work on xyz and i would hear that oh you changing oh you starting to switch it up and honestly you just get tired of hearing that when you are already working hard as hell to try to change your life you feel me and so i came to a point and recognized that the energy you have every single day is limited, right? So you got 100% that you start with. And if I'm giving out energy to people or things that's not serving the trajectory of the life that I wanna go to, they are draining me. And if something is draining me, that I have the option to cut out of my life, then I am going to choose to do that for the betterment of me. And let me tell you all, after that decision, my life skyrocketed and I'm not gonna put that all on them, but it was because I recognized how energy worked and then I started applying it in correct places to be able to exponentially improve my life. Moment number two is gonna be when my brother was killed, okay? So this happened 15 years ago now and honestly completely caught me off guard. He's heading out of the house like any other day, daps him up, you know, all right, bro, see you later, you know, this is this. Then I'm getting dressed to go to work that night and my mom calls me and it's like, hey, just giving you a heads up that your brother was shot. And I'm just like, okay, well, is he okay? She's like, well, I don't have all the details yet, but right now, like, I do believe he's good. This is this, I'm like, okay, cool. Well, I'll come past the hospital. She's like, okay. Um, I'm finishing up getting dressed. Again, I'm heading to work something and I'm gonna swing past the hospital first and I'll just head to work. I'm, again, I'm not sure of the situation at that moment. And then my grandmother calls me about like 15 minutes later and was like, hey, did you hear what happened? Me, I'm always the type of person that says no to everything just so I can hear more context. That's just in my personality. I still do that today. So I was like, no, what happened? She's like, oh, well, your brother was killed. He was shot in his head and in his chest and he ended up dying. So of course, at that moment in time, I'm devastated. You know what I mean? I finished getting dressed, head over to the hospital. You know, I see him, you know, dead and everything. And, you know, naturally it was a huge moment for me. But what ended up happening to me and my mentality after this moment was I'm sitting outside of my grandmother's house at the time, I'm on the porch, right? And while I'm outside, um, at the time I was smoking and drinking and I'm just chilling and I'm looking and I'm watching the world, right? And I realized as I was looking at the world that the birds are still flying, I think it was a sunny day, cars are driving by, I'm seeing people walking past laughing and all these other things and then it hit me where I was like, you know what? This entire house is gloomy right now because I mean, my brother was just killed the day before, right? But in that moment as well i was sitting back and i was just like but life keeps moving on regardless of what you're going through and then it hit me where i was like you know what your bills are still going to be due at the end of this month regardless of what just happened they're not going to postpone anything and so like that day i ended up going to work and i might work work and i was stocking shelves overnight at the time and i'm working and of course my manager's like you didn't have to come in this is this and i'm crying while i'm working but the thing was i knew deep deep down in my soul that like I need to make sure my bills is paid because I don't have anybody to help me out. You know what I mean? And so like after that though, I didn't realize it, but that mentality at that moment translated with me and it's grown over the years to the point where a lot of things honestly just don't bother me, right? Like they would take a lot to get under my skin and make me react to certain things just because 
I understand that life goes on regardless of what you're going through. And so it does I probably make me a little less empathetic as well when people are like just complaining about something that seems so mediocre to me but it's the biggest deal to them i definitely probably come off way more nonchalant but i have appreciated this change in my mentality and i'm talking about it spans across the board right let's just say i was in a relationship fully committed everything is going great i see a future with this person and then they just up the next day and we stop talking i'll probably be like well dang that sucked like i was really invested in this but like Part of my brain is also like life goes on so i'd actually probably be good after like a couple days you know what i mean it's not that i'm negating my emotions or anything it's just that moment made me just realize how the world really works and how life really works and so i'm always in my present moment and then moving forward that's it literally the third moment that changed my life and this one actually happened pretty recently is when i used to live in oakland california at a spot called lake Merritt. so google if you've ever been there nice little three mile lake right and Anytime I would create content initially, I was always in the house. So in seclusion, nobody else around. Even though I talked about it when I was out in person that I do create content, I never actually shot content around anybody. But one day, as I noticed that the content creation landscape was unfolding and I'm seeing all these backdrops and sceneries people shoot, I'm like, yo, it'll probably be dope if I do some of these monologues outside at the lake. So I got to the lake to shoot a monologue and as I'm shooting my first one, I noticed myself kept stopping and looking around, right? And then I started like looking around the lake, trying to find a little secluded spot. And I'd find one, chug over there, and then I start recording and then I stopped again. And I was like, okay, yo, what is going on? And in that moment, I realized that when people were watching me while I was recording, I was uncomfortable. And then the reality sunk in that, wow, you aren't as confident as you thought about your content creation because you are nervous recording around other people. And then I had to run a scenario in my mind. I was like, right now, let's pretend you got a million subscribers, you give speeches everywhere and people all know who you are as an individual who loves to inspire and uplift the generation, right? How would you feel? And I was like, well, I would feel good. I'd wanna shoot this. I want people to watch it. And I was like, well, act like that now. Because the only reason why you're nervous, the only reason you aren't confident, part of you that feels like because you don't have enough subs, you don't have enough followers, that your message isn't as important or that you don't have the right to preach your message. And I know a lot of us have felt that way, especially when you start now, that you're just like, well, do I really have the credentials to do this? And you do. But that was a moment that I had to go through to just recognize that being in seclusion is great. But until you push yourself into those uncomfortable realms as often as possible, you'll never grow into the person that you need to because there's certain experiences you need to grow through to reach your higher self. You know what I mean? And so that was a huge pivotal moment for me in my content creator journey. Now I will shoot anywhere, anytime, any place, and I'm not bothered by the surroundings at all. So if y'all enjoyed this video, man, make sure you hit that like button, comment your thoughts on any portions of my story that stood out to you, or please share a moment that completely changed your life. Cause I know we all have different experiences, which has brought us into the people we're gonna be today. Hit that subscribe button, help your boy grow. And with that being said, I will see everybody at the top.